everybody, the end, after we play three times, we should end on F minor seven, uh, six nine. F minor six nine, sorry. My name is Sharon Farber, and I'm a composer, an orchestrator, and conductor. Yeah, let's go to one and seven. I came to the hen house in order to record some film projects that I was scoring. I like to do projects that have a meaning. Um, I would like to do projects that say something important to people because I want my music to say something to people. The one that I did at the hen house, it's a jazz musician that his girlfriend gets killed in a car accident and he can't play anymore. And there's one point that he goes to the grave and he, he tries to wake her up. I was born in Israel, and I started uh, my musical adventure when I was seven as a piano student. I knew I didn't want to be a concert pianist, you know, always play compositions that other people have written. I just needed something that I can create. I met someone uh, who kind of introduced me to film music and film scoring. I thought about it and I said to myself, well, I love drama, I love classical music, and I think that film music will give me an opportunity to write orchestral music and have my music played and still touch people's, people's heart. The name of it is Insanity and that's what I really want to portray you, like really free, really, really crazy. What I like to do always before I record a cue is I tell the musicians a little bit about the film and about um, the music that I wrote and what I intended and then before cues I'm trying to explain what the scene is about so they can feel what I'm talking about. I majored in film scoring and classical composition and came to Los Angeles as the recipient of the uh, Academy of TV Arts and Sciences uh, internship in film scoring. I started working for Shirley Walker, orchestrating for Superman and Batman. And this was a huge experience for me because I learned so much from her. And after two years, I actually started writing music for the show. And since then, I had the opportunities to score a lot of independent features and two features for Showtime and Fox and HBO, and I've been very, very blessed. Okay, uh, let's record, uh, let's you wanna, keep that. What, you want to save this? Yeah, let's save okay. it. It's not bad. Most of the time, the composers comes to the picture at the very end. We get a film with no music from nothing. You have to create this beautiful thing. It's a challenge, it's a challenge. Okay. And we then go into the intro part four times and to the end. Okay, yeah. Okay, got it? Mm -hmm. It's really, really important to be able to listen to the director. Here they take their baby that they worked so much to create and they give it to someone else to dress it up. So it can be kind of a scary experience for them. So it's really important to understand and, you know, to, to be collaborative. don't notice the music in the film, that means it's good. If it draws too much attention, it means that something is not working because a film is, is, has you know, a few dimensions and music is one of them and it all comes together. It's something that can bring a scene to a new level. There's so many ways to take a scene and to score it. There's so many ways and many of them will work. I think this is the challenging part to 
actually bring your own voice to what you do. And it doesn't matter if it's drama or, you know, comedy or whatever. There's still something that people say, oh, this is John Williams. Oh, that's probably Sharon, you know, and this is probably Ellen Silvestri. So I think this is, the, you know, the challenging part for me to bring my own voice to what I do.